Friends, how are you? This is Pastor right Katie kind of Boyce, and we are delighted that you decided to tune in to us today. Just reading here in 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. Forward and senior, see you at 528 33rd Street, Oakland, California, Abyssinia, Missionary Baptist Church. Hear the word, come and see the real message. Amen. Like, like a mile and a half from 
here so long as I'm here. Lord, 
And the people look up in to see you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. The people of God said amen. Amen. Let's say amen, church.
discover that watch this. Uh, even Christians, amen. Christians are those that have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as their personal Savior and believe that He died and that He rose again uh, from the grave. Amen. Uh, I discovered, amen, that even though, watch this, uh, we know Jesus for ourselves and we come to Bible class and bring our hymn books and, and all of the other things that we carry with us and never ever miss a service. But if you be honest with that, sometimes uh, we wonder in our mind and heart which way is up. I'm tired of being down. If I talk to somebody the other day, I'm tired of living down. I'm tired of being in the down grave. I'm tired because of the fact that we live in a what I call a Ferris wheel community. A yeah. uh, Ferris wheel community is, watch this, you get on that one spot and all you do in your life is go round and round and round and you end up getting off right where you got on. Can I get a witness in there now? That, 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 that. So people are, are tired, the citizens are tired, the community is tired, our children is tired, and even Christians are tired. And asking the question is which way can I come up? Am I talking to anybody here today? Anybody that you just tired of being down there, man, and you really desire to come up in life? Well, today is a good sermon for you. Because we're going to talk about which way is up. Now, when we use the word way, way simply means, hey man, it means your direction. It means your path. It means where you are going. Are y'all with me today? And we got three things in here. I'm going to talk about real quickly here today. Hey man, to share with you uh, from the fact uh, that you would understand which way is up. I need to come down here because some of y'all look too quiet. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say you yes. Three things I will text in this verse. Uh, I'm going to say these verses. Number one, if you're going to, watch it, if you're going to understand how to, watch this, to come up or understand which way is up, number one, watch this, your love got to be right with the Lord. Yeah. Somebody ought to help me in that. Number one, your love got to be right with the Lord. And number two, watch this. Your praise got to be right for the Lord. Look, at y'all want to help me preach this thing? Look at somebody tell us, your praise got to be right for the Lord. And the third thing, amen, that you ought to understand that I'm going to take a look at is that, watch this, when you love right and you praise right, all right, what happens is you got to know and understand that the Lord will pull you from your haters. Look at that. Look at somebody tell me that I, I hope I'm not sitting next to my head. Are oh, y'all still there? Comes in. Comes in this 18th chapter of Psalm. This 18th chapter. Psalm was uh, a psalm that was written about the deliverance, amen, of David, amen. How God had delivered him many times, amen, before, especially the times when he was chased for years by Saul. Saul was trying to kill David, amen. And so he was chased. How many Bible readers in the house, amen? And he tried to chase him, amen, to try to kill him, amen. So this is a book about deliverance. Are y'all with me in the name now? And it comes in, David, 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 David's name means beloved. David was the shepherd boy amen, that traded in his pasture for a palace. David was the one that, 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 that wrote that famous song that all of us have open at our house. Many of us have it on the table. Many of us know it by heart whether they say or not say. The 23rd number of song that, that said that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not walk. He made me to lie down in the green pasture. He leaded me beside the still he restored my soul. David, 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 David. David comes to you and I, the same David that in the, the 51st number of song that said, created me a, a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me. David, David, the one that said, Lord, restore back the job I of myself. Uh, David comes. 
and it seemed we want to have a conversation with the people of God, amen. David wants to share with us. He wants to give us the right direction, amen. He wants to let us know what it's going to take when you're going to understand which way is up. He said, number one, your love got to be right for the Lord. Look at somebody and tell them, your love got to be right for the Lord. Can I get a witness of that? Notice he comes in in this first verse and he says, I will love the O oh Lord. Is that what it said? Now notice why David did not come out and say, uh, Lord, give me a car. Somebody want to talk to me today. David didn't come out and say, Lord, I need a house in there. Lord, I need a girlfriend. I, I need a boyfriend. David didn't come out asking God for anything. David just simply came there and said, I love you, God. Yeah. He said, I
Kevin D. Barnes of the Abyssinia Church. Great news. Listen, most of you have heard about my book, Successfully Raising Young Black Men. It made Amazon.com. Well, we have copies of them. But I want to share something else with you, and that is, is that we also have another book, and that book is Successfully Raising Grandchildren. You would want to get this book. This book can help you. It can help you. That's right. This book can help you to help raise those grandchildren the way that God wants them to be raised. God bless you. These books, each of them cost $11. We will look forward to seeing you and come by, give us a call, 510-653-0315. That number again, 510-653-0315. And get a copy of this book. God bless you. See you soon.